Well, Democratic Alliance uh, Gauteng Shadow MEC for Education, Kumira Muripo, uh, has revealed that the Gauteng Department of Education has spent more than 10 million rand on teachers placed on precautionary suspension over sexual misconduct. Ramorifo um, uh, alleged that uh, in a written reply, uh, Gauteng MEC of Education, Matume Chilwane, disclosed that they had 173 sexual allegations against teachers in the past five years. For more on this story, um, we speak now to Gauteng Education spokesperson, Steve Mabona, who joins us now via Zoom. Uh, Mr. Mabona, a good morning to you. I think before we even get into the amounts of money uh, that Mr. Ramudipe was alleging here was spent on teachers that were, that are on suspension for sexual misconduct. What are the numbers of teachers that you have at the moment that are on suspension for sexual misconduct according to your department? Uh, good morning. We actually need to put a perspective into what uh, DA has been saying. Uh, they were asking us about the sexual assault cases against educators since the for the past five years so uh, but they never asked us on out of the 173 that we have how many of those were not found guilty by any form of a disciplinary process they only focus on those that were dismissed and which is over 86 uh, we have confirmed that number and uh, out of the 86 number you would have then had those that would have been probably suspended because you know depending on the merit of a case it is a serious case we normally precautionary suspend you while you will be then at home meanwhile if it's a case that is not serious then we transfer you to our district office so this is what has been happening and um well, there are claims that we have educators that are in front of our learners now who faces these allegations. Uh, we want to refute that. Uh, you, you, you've talked about cases that are not serious, but we're talking about teachers that are being suspended for sexual misconduct. So I'm, I'm looking at, you know, the degree of what decides that a sexual misconduct case is not serious, according to the department, firstly. And then the urgency with which you deal with these matters, considering that they are costing the taxpayer. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't um, uh, do that because we are saying the seriousness, it depends on the merit of a case. Uh, all cases, we take them serious. But the seriousness that I'm emphasizing is on a suspension for someone who will then be required to go to sit at home because cases are not the same. In some of these sexual assault cases, it's educators that would have made some um, remarks which are unacceptable. And uh, in those instances, uh, most of them, you know, the disciplinary process will probably give them a sanction of six, six ma eight, three months without pay or a warning. It depends on the case that would have been put, you know, uh, on, 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 on that case. So we, 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 we take them all serious. But I'm saying they requested an information for the past five years. And we are saying now, we could not say we have so many of educators that are on a, susp on a precautionary suspension that are sitting at home because of such cases. So for now, we don't have a, an alarming number of those educators that would have been sitting at home, uh, you know, waiting for their cases to be heard because their focus was on the past five years and they then went sporadic and they painted a gloomy uh, picture to say we have educators that are suspended um, and, and, and casting aspersion and putting that amount. It was for the past five years, but currently we don't have uh, cases whereby we have educators that are sitting at home because those that would have been at home, they were dismissed. It's about over 86 of them. And then uh, the remainder is those that would not be um, uh, probably found guilty. And we also have the category of those that uh, would have been uh, sanctioned with a fine, or uh, probably given three months uh, without um, pay payment. Is, uh, is Mr. Kumira Modipa correct in his um, calculations of what the department is spending, though, on these teachers um, that are on precautionary suspension? No, it's not his calculations. It's our amount. We gave mm. them the, the amount because they were asking us questions. Mm. Yes, we gave them that amount. Even the 173 total number for the past five years, 
we gave them that number. And uh, we are saying it's not a, a current situation that is happening now because they are, they are claiming that we are not supporting learners. And we are saying we support learners. We have a psychosocial unit that is going to all the schools, supporting parents, and to a certain extent, if they need to open cases, we um, support them and go with them at the police stations and assist them with that process. So the insinuation that as a department, we look like we don't care, we are not supporting, it's, uh, it's distorted because we are saying we've got systems in the department which will make sure that all learners, be it um, uh, any complaint that is put on the table, they are supported. So that's the, the, the basis, that's what we are saying. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us. We really do appreciate your time and we'll be taking a close look at that story as it unfolds. That was uh, Houting Basic Education spokesperson Steve Mabona speaking to us.